Welcome to Geneva and WISIS Forum 2022. And with me is Jose David Montilla, who is Vice Minister of Digital Agenda in the Dominican Republic. Welcome. Thank you. And congratulations on your WISIS 2022 Forum Prize. Can you tell me about the project that, uh, that yeah, achieved course. that? Thanks, of course. First, thanks for the invitation. It's an honor for us to be here. In the Dominican Republic has a new digital agenda. Why? Because we know this era of digital transformation needs a complete plan, not just for the government. We designed a new strategy for digital tra transformation that includes the private sector, the government, the civil society, and the academic sector. In our plan, we include to work with a legal framework to enable the digital transformation, also connectivity and access, digital government, about education and digital skills, digital economy, innovation technology and cybersecurity. So we pretend to uh, work with our people and for our people in a complete change of their life, the quality of life with this new digital agenda. They're completely integrated across all aspects of society. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And one of the key points first is the construction process for the digital agenda. We first travel all the island, all the Dominican Republic country, uh, trying to understand the people's needs. Then we go to a place and work from like eight, one year, defining exactly the projects, the actions line, the objective and the indicators that we will be uh, monitoring for really move in the digital transformation. But in this case, we have the support directly for our president because uh, he create a presidential cabinet for digital transformation, and he is the president of that cabinet. And the Ministry of Presidency is the coordinator. What it means, all other ministers, general directors, and people in charge of public policies, they are working together. We are working together. That's why our government, our country, is we are in the same line working for digital transformation. But remember, it's for our people. That's why we prioritize on the project that impact the economy, the recovery from COVID and uh, uh, good services for citizens and trying to, uh, for our uh, citizens have a very good life. And it was that aspect of it, the way you constructed the project that was recognized with the WISIS uh, Forum Prize. Yeah, that's it, because we use a methodology, scientific methodology, not to build a document in the presidential palace yeah. in one desk. So we go to all the regions, we see it with the people, we hear the people, then they, their expectations and their uh, uh, immediately needs. So we uh, uh, have a platform for that uh, exercise of democracy that we recollect all the proposals or the comments, all the projects in the platform. So it it's permit that if you are in the South or if you are outside in, of the Dominican Republic, you can collaborate with the digital agenda. We receive a platform from the uh, Cold Citizen Lab with uh, help for the uh, Inter-American Development Bank. So it permits us to, in a pandemic process, collect all the information that we need with the participation with the people to make a common digital agenda. Well, congratulations on your well-deserved recognition. Minister, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.